Dude, it's food. Welcome to the first of our shows. If you haven't caught the bug yet to make your own food, to plan your meals, to learn something, now's a good time. The world is getting high on healthy food and the technology that makes it all better. That's what this site's about. Enjoy the fun. Welcome to Cook Episode 1.0. That's what we call our episodes from this channel. Well, this one's going to be about veggie French toast. A couple of options of uh, standby uh, breakfast food. But the key thing here is this is about the ingredients, yes. It's about healthy ingredients. It's about new, wonderful cooking technologies. But it's really about the cooking. Join us. You can have all the recipes and all the techniques and all the motivations to eat better that you want. But you got to be able to make these in everyday cook-a-day meals. Diets regularly fail because they don't keep our interest. We can't do them well with the foods we have around, or simply we don't know really how to use the tools and techniques to make them work. Each cook episode we do is going to be about easy steps, fun ideas for kind of straightforward recipes of foods that you might find interesting. Do what you want with them, but watch it and get an idea how to cook, and we'll toss in something about healthy ingredients, and most importantly about new technologies, which you're just going to love. Hopefully you'll return regularly, but each episode features me, Alan Shore, and Eric Martinez, but we call on the ideas and suggestions of people across the internet who help us integrate healthy eating and technology into ways that make cooking fun and interesting for tomorrow. Come on, you've been there. A big basket full of apples that a child ought to be able to do something with. With an urge and a feeling of responsibility, you got to use what's left in your refrigerator, only to find out all you have are hard-boiled eggs and taco shells. Oh, good Lord, what happens when you have a craving and all you got in your refrigerator are what's left of the hanging street meat? Welcome to Dude, it's food. There's something to do with it. There's interesting ways to make it into something better, and we hope you learn some lessons on how to do that. Thanks for joining, and come back regularly. Now, here we go. Episode, cook episode number one. Cook episode 1.0. Veggie French toast. I'll hold it here for a minute. Take a look at the left hand side. There's something different about that the color versus the right hand side. But uh, you're going to like, I think, what's interesting about this and how it makes this a rather tasty alternative. Here are the basic ingredients for making French toast no biggie. Eggs, milk, cinnamon. I put a little salt in it. Special twist on this one. Well, uh, French toast number two, tomato juice and ground up, finely chopped cauliflower. Then I'm going to add something else to it or talk about it at the end of the video. Just for the fun of it, in this first cook episode, we're doing two versions of the French toast. One on the left, the regular, on the right will be the veggie alternative. On the left-hand side, we added uh, cream and cinnamon, salt as the regular French toast. And then we'll move over here. Okay, for this side, we're adding tomato juice, roughly about what we put in the cream on the other side. You'll see me add some pepper here. There's a little bit of salt in there too. And then the final thing is the addition of the cauliflower chunks. Um, I'll talk about that, but I should do that a little smaller, but I add the cauliflower chunks here. Both sides here get a uh, soaking of bread with nice clean hands. Let them sit there for a couple minutes or for a minute at least on each side. It's not going to uh, soak up a big chunks here. We'll deal with that one a little bit later. The pans here are hot. On the left-hand side is the regular one. On the right-hand side is the cauliflower one. You can see the little white spots on the right-hand side. That's where I actually spooned on some more egg and cauliflower on the side after I put it in the pan to make sure that we got a little coating. 
And of course, let them both cook. It only takes a few minutes on each side, get them brown and uh, make sure they get cooked and warm all the way through. And here we go, the final. On the left hand side is the orangish colored one with the tomatoes and the regular one is on the right. Now what my secret is, when I looked up on the internet for flavor, put some tomato paste, about a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon in it also and pulverize in a spice grinder the cauliflower and you'll have a magnificent breakfast here that tastes really good. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is Alan and Eric is my partner here on these uh, coming episodes and we hope you join us and uh, hey, it's Bits and Bites. Enjoy. Enjoy.